Zomer Z uh, Chase and a three mile three furlong zero to one twenty. Finesta up the top and is the favourite ten to three for Tam King. We got Tillsworth, Glen Boy, Tango Orange, Half Pipe, Tara's Man, In Traction, Venture to Cognac, Moon Lake, Hillbilly Boy, Malto Benet, Sphinx Princess, Ashton, Wild Prince, You Half, Mighty Dev. This is where the fish live, Lady Sphinx and All Gat Cat. All gate cat for Carl Aragonte. Number 18, they are set and racing. Zomorazet. A long, long time ago in my youth, I met a girl from Zomorazet. Zayda country. I can't do that accent at all, but I always thought it was funny with the, all the Z, Zs. Anyway, we've lost a jockey. And this is where the fish live. Is out of the race. So Obi Wan, serious chill, bad luck. But you still have Tillsworth Glen Boy. So take the next and a dodgy one there from Allgate Cat. Malto Benet is third. Down on the fence is Ashton. Over the third. A mighty dev out wider on the track with a green and yellow cap and just inside of it Sphinx Princess. Wild Prince down towards the fence. And also down there is Lady Sphinx and Mighty Dev were on in traction at the moment. So we'll just let this play out and you can watch the horses around and hopefully you can see one of your horses. And they all jumped that nicely. And we're back to race view and take the water jump. They're all fairly well packed. The last race they strung out a bit early. But here's a lot of traffic. And they come on down to the seventh and all gate cat walks through it. You half moves up, pokes ahead in front. Multi Benet third, so come to the ditch. Out wider as Fenestra. And that is the pre race favourite. You'll get Ashton, Multi Benet, Lady Sphinx, Wild Prince. So roll over that one. A slow jump there by Mighty Dev. Probably interfered with Venture to Cognac a little bit. Over the tenth. A lot of chopping and changing in the field there. And these handicap type of races, it really does come I think it does come down to you that your horse just having the least um, interfered with ride. A horse that just sits pretty static doesn't move back or forwards doesn't get caught wide doesn't get caught behind a runner always has room to make its moves when it needs to make its moves just my thoughts anyway so it's you half an all gate cat two and a half clear as they take the 12th all gate cat another bad jump and we've Oh, my horse has uh, dropped the jockey. Damn it. So you half jumps that one. All gate cat was a slow jump, but a safer jump. Multo Benet Ashton, Fenestra. Across the track there, out a bit wider in traction. Lady Sphinx down towards the fence and half pipe. Then we've got Hillbilly Boys, Sphinx Princess, Venture to Cognac, Tillsworth, Glen Boy, Tara's Man, and Moon Lake. And we come down, we've got a lap to go when we get to the winning post. And I don't know about you, but I'm like look, lo liking the look of you half. Hollywood's horses have got a, a touch of the X factor about them and being left alone in front. 
that might be hard to run down. So take the water. And you half cruising over the 17th. Oh, and another poor jump by All Gate Cat. Oh, we've lost another one there too. Tango Orange. I apologize for missing that. So go over another ditch. And getting pulled up at the tail, there's Moon Lake. So bad luck, Jim. That was your only runner as well. You'd be disappointed in that one, I'd say. I would imagine you were half confident for this race. So you half pushing them along. Molto Benet in second, third, the favourite Finestras. They take oh, we've lost another Moliet surfers. Molto Benet is out, has crashed out of the race. So we've lost five. A new half getting pushed along. Five furlongs left to run. Lady Sphinx moves into second. Third, Mighty Dev, Finestra, carrying the top weight. Pushing through there, Stu's half pipe, Hillbilly Boy out there as well. We've lost another venture to Cognac's gone. And out the tail there, we've got Tillsworth, Glen Boy, Sphinx, Princess, and Tara's man, who will probably struggle from here with three furlongs to go. They come on down to the 22nd, and Lady Sphinx jumps into the lead. The favourite has another crack. Finestra out wider in traction. Half pipe. Ashton's there as they come on down to the second last. Oh, Hollywood's horse walk through it. You half, and that's the uh, that's called it a day, I would say. But uh, Lady Sphinx under the whip rides and hard to the last. Jumps it okay. It's inside the furlong. The favourite's trying to lift Finesta, and so too Ashton. It's Lady Sphinx in front from fin Finesta and Ashton, and Lady Sphinx will do enough and wins from Ashton and uh, Finestra. Congratulations, Darren. You'll be happy with that win. Oh, the jockey had a look around there too to make sure he was home. And that's a nice win. That angle is deceiving. The second and third looks different from the replay view so congratulations Darren celebrate and enjoy it Ashton second for F1 Folus third was Finestra the favourite for Tam King and uh, fourth was Hillbilly something as it just goes up Hillbilly Boy in traction was fifth